Alrighty guys, hopefully things are good for you. I don't know, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, can't sleep, so I've been puttering on the 346. Uh, after the machine work, I didn't get numbers, uh, on this, uh, stock before, but after the machine work, uh, the exhaust landed on 110, transfers were at 130, and intake was at 76. The amount of machine work I did, just gauging off from a lot of other saws that I've, I've cut bases and chambers and stuff on, the stock numbers on this thing was probably 105, 125, and probably 71, uh, from what I can tell just by typically every 10, uh, every 10 to 11 thousandths or so on certain stroke saws, it's, it's roughly a degree that you change things on. So, but I landed a 20,000 squish. I've got the port work all done. I still gotta pop the piston back off there and uh, lighten the piston and the wrist pin. Uh, and then I, I'm i gonna have to, wife's probably gonna get mad, I'm gonna take this thing in to the bath bathtub and scrub it down with super clean and rinse it off because it's so grubby. Uh, and I'm gonna wash some other stuff in the ultrasonic cleaner. Um, I washed see if I can you guys are in view I washed this whole this thing was as grubby as the saw was um, what was if I've got a grubby cylinder to this thing was probably grubbier looking than this thing and that ultrasonic cleaner did a bang up bang up job on it oh uh, shoot I got a flashlight I do, I do, I do got a flashlight for you guys. There's the exhaust. I did widen it a scooch, um, raised it up 10 degrees. Uh, there's a spot that's not polished too good on the very bottom up by the cylinder because I didn't want to lower that, that lip any. Here's the Here's the lower work, the upper work, lunged intake, my dual stage uh, combustion chamber. Let me grab a pointer. What I mean by dual staged is from, from here to about right there is a flat band and then from that ring to up in here uh, is on a taper, about like I do on the pistons. Um, that's what I chose to go on this. I cut about 55 out of the chamber. I cut 50 off the base. I still got to come in here and accentuate this notch. Yet. I haven't done that yet. Um, I got to do that yet. So uh, my total numbers on this. Is 100 on the exhaust. It's 80 on the the you know when the port closes right there, and I am 125 on the transfers. So this thing's got 25 degrees of blowdown. Uh, I know that might upset some some people. I want to try it there uh, to see uh, what happens. I can always take more blowdown away if need be. I've never done one of these saws. Um, don't think I'm going to build a, uh, this is, I want something, I'm, I'm trying to knock the 4910 off its uh, pedal still right now, because right now the, that's my fastest 50cc racer. I'm trying to come up with something that just, you know, if I can get this to that or scooch faster, this might be my new race, so I don't ever intend on using this saw to go out in the woods and cut wood with. I don't like the feel of them. Um, heck, you set the thing down, it tips over on its side when it's running. I don't I don't like that. Uh, to me, in the hands, this Husqvarna feels weird. I'm not saying it's a bad saw. I'm just saying what I'm comfortable cutting with. And, um, you know, if I'm racing or competing or whatever, it doesn't really matter how comfortable the saw is, I guess, because you just got to do your three cookies and then Go shoot the breeze with the boys. 
but that, that's what I'm trying. I am going to lighten the wrist pin. I'm going to lighten the piston up. Uh, trying to think, think what else. Um, I'm going to try it with the stock intake and carb for right now. I don't have anything else and I don't have the funds to go out and but I think 359, 357 intake boot, carb, and uh, elbow and air filters is another good mod for these things. I think a lot of people are doing that to get more airflow in. Um, pretty, pretty disappointed with the diameter of the air horn on this and uh, how choked up the the filter is. I might oh, oh, okay. pop this apart. I'm not familiar with. It's 346s. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna modify this as well. Good thing to pop that apart. Pretty sure I'm gonna modify. Oh yeah. Yep. I'm gonna fix that too. It'll uh help ease the transition of air in, into there. Um, uh, on the transfers on this, I know it's a touchy subject. Some people like big ones, some people like small ones. I just do it. I just do what I did. I widened this side. Oh. I widened this side about that much wider. And uh, this side was about that, that much how I took out. So my distance from here and I did raise this up some but I only raised this up to the height of that web I did thin the web the, the web that was here was was absolutely massive massively thick I don't know don't think I've got anything you know it was like I don't know a quarter inch wide and it was just a big square spot that the that I look at it as the charge would hit it and then get deflected off so I tried to straighten it around we'll see how it goes I have no idea if this is the right way to do it or not I'm just doing it my way uh, having fun at it I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do for a muffler mod yet I figured I you know I gotta notch that out do the air filter lighten the piston clean that thing up then I can get that together I'll get the saw all all back together and then I can work on uh, the muffler mod um, just off the top of my head, it's probably either going to be uh, a couple pipes or maybe one pipe or a couple of dyno joe deflectors. Uh, the can's empty, so that's a bonus. So that's just what I'm that's just what I'm thinking on for at the moment. But I wanted to put you guys some sort of footage out. Um, this was a running saw. I'm not going to pop the carb part to take a look in there because if I rip a diaphragm or something then I'm off waiting for parts and I want to see this thing run. Uh, I probably will order a new piston ring and uh, a new carb kit eventually. I would probably, and depending on how this thing turns out, we might end up later on buying all the other, the other air filter stuff. The ring, I don't know where it's, where it's, it's right here. Uh, it's got a little bit wider gap than I would like, and uh, you can shave with it. Um, I don't think I have anything in this bore size. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't think I have any. I don't think I have anything. So the compression, I mean, it should have good compression, but the compression is probably not going to be what it could be because that gap is really almost twice as wide as I I would want want it so this all appeared to be suffering from blow by and reversion really bad so I'm hoping hoping it's going to turn out good but I just wanted to put you guys out something I've blabbered on here enough um, I don't know if I'm going to might work on lightening the piston tonight I don't know pretty tired so probably call it a night and then come out and putter on it again tomorrow I'm in no race to get it running waiting on parts for two other saws so figured I'd try to knock this 346 out so you guys take it easy and uh have a good one